Hey everyone, I'm Sylvia De Silva and I'm an artist. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be telling you about the different kinds of paint brushes that I use. I will be showing you the uses of each of these brushes with a compilation from my older videos so you can get a better idea of how it is used. I've had to improvise because I've recently moved to a new city and my studio isn't set up yet. Well, this week is Diwali week here in India, our famous Hindu festival Diwali and I have two videos for you this week. One will be today's video, the paint brushes video and before Saturday I will come up with another video which I had promised quite some time back about the different types of oil painting that you can do. So let's go ahead and learn about paint brushes. Well, I'm going to start with a filbert brush which is my personal favorite. You can see its top edge is rounded and I prefer using it for most of my textured flower paintings. You can see it's quite flat. This is a new set that I have and I don't really prefer it that much. I used to have a set earlier, my first set of filbert brushes and these are so thick that the textured flowers come out so perfect. You can see the various uses I put it to. They glide very well along the edges. I also use it for coverage. You can see here I'm using it for making thicker feather strokes. They turn out so beautiful with just a single stroke. I also use them for smaller detailing, for thicker lines. I use a smaller brush to do these. If you see my time lapse videos, you'll see I use these brushes most of all. I use the thick bristled filbert brush for blending. I use this brush for almost everything and last but not the least I use it to make my textured flowers. I also bought this really big filbert brush. It's a size 50 and I'm waiting to make a really big textured flowers painting with it. This is a small round brush. I bought it actually to sign paintings, but after using it for a while, I realized I really can't do that because it's really small and the paint gets collected on the ferrule. It's a triple zero. And later I realized liner brushes are much better for this, for signing paintings. So this is a liner brush by Camelin. It's a size 2 specialty liner brush. Well, this is another brush. It's called a rigger because it's got really long bristles and it holds a lot of paint and it's very helpful in doing big lines. It's a size 3. You don't have to go back in for paint again and again. Well, you can see it compared to the triple zero round brush. It's got quite long bristles. Even though that's a size 3, I managed to find a size 0, which is only a little bit smaller than the size 3. And it works very well for doing long lines and signing paintings and such. Well, it's not just useful for making lines. I also use it in tiny detailing when I'm painting feathers or fur. These are my go-to brushes. But yes, since my latest collection requires me to paint feathers, I've been using the liner brush a lot. You can see this is a rigor brush and you can see how many strokes I made with taking paint just one time
The next thing I'm going to show you is a round brush. This is a size 12. You get it in various sizes. This is a pointed round. And this one is a round brush with its bristles slightly fanned out. It's a size 12. You can see how the bristles are at the edge. I will tell you what I use this for. I'm showing you the pointed round again so you can see the difference in its edge. Well, I use the pointed round brush for mostly decorative strokes, broad lines. You can see it here. I also use it in detailing and fur but only the smaller ones. You can notice here, like I said, broad lines. So it's useful in drawing tree branches and such. Well, here you can notice that I'm using the fanned out round brush for making trees and I just dab it onto the paint and then dab it onto the canvas so you get such beautiful strokes. You just have to create depth by using different colors. You can see I have used a combination of round brushes to make this tree. This is a small round brush which I am using just to create white highlights onto the tree. Well, you should realize that one brush doesn't do the whole painting for you. You have to use a combination of different brushes to get the desired effect. You can see here I am using a combination of pointed round and a filbert brush. I'm using the pointed round to do the edge of the moon and then I'm just smoothening it out, blending it out so that the lines don't look completely harsh. So it's really up to you to decide what brushes you want to use. I may use these for different things but once you start practicing and you get the hang of it, you will know which brush to use for what. Well, this is a wash brush. This is most useful when you're trying to cover large areas with paint. You can see it in the video right here. It just makes your painting quicker and I definitely recommend buying at least two of these. Uh, one a smaller size and one at least eight centimeters or such. You can see here, I am not just using it to do the background, I am using a smaller wash brush to make the clouds and I am also using it to make the grass really quick or else it would take me hours to just make grass on such a big painting. Well, this is a fan brush and it is most useful when you are painting waterfalls, trees, grass, foliage. It's very much useful when you are painting landscapes basically. I'm just showing you two different sizes so you know you get it in various sizes and you can choose whichever one you want. It doesn't hurt to have one of these in your collection. The bigger one is a size 16 and the smaller one is a size 4 I guess. This is a flat brush and I use it mostly for oil painting. I don't like using a wash brush because cleaning a wash brush gets really messy when you're working with oil paint. So I use flat brushes when I'm painting with oil. Well, there are various other brushes that I use as well, but if I included all those, this video would be too long. So you can go ahead to my blog and read it there. It's fairly descriptive. And I also have a photo which you can download so you can refer to it. I hope that will help. It has a list of all the different kinds of brushes that I have and use and all its different uses. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with my latest work. And I'll see you again this week.